And them a bleach, them a bleach out them skin, them a bleach. Fe look like a browning, them a bleach. Them a bleach out them skin, them a bleach. Fe look like a browning, girl me honor you, and you no bleach out your skin. You know you no chemical. That was good, that was good, right? Yeah, yeah. all right. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> hey guys, all right. Thank you for for joining us for another episode of the Caribbean Edge, and I'm Sean Spaulding. I'm Don Wilson. Shauna Whittingham. And Keith Heron. Welcome. Well, 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 today uh, we have an interesting topic. The topic today is skin bleaching and skin whitening. Very interesting topic. Am I yeah. bleach? Yeah, <laughs> bleach <on that skin. laughs> yeah it, it's 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 been um, it, it's been a topic for a while now, and we thought we'd address it today. And I hope you guys find it interesting. Again, when you're watching, leave some leave any comments you have on anything that we've covered or anything you thought we missed. We'd appreciate it. But we're going to start off um, approaching this topic about the origins. Let's talk about where this came from. Why the obsession with skin bleaching or skin whitening? Anybody have anything to add uh, as far as where it came from? Wow. Wow. Uh, I don't know. I, I just remember as far as I know, um, from, from just my personal perspective, I uh, didn't really read much on it, didn't really research much on it, but um, from what I've learned through school and stuff, uh, I think, I, I can remember the French always wearing makeup. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Uh, always putting on powder, and not only the ladies, the guys. So I don't know where that came from, I don't know if anybody has to You know what, people know that, like back in the days, men wore a lot of makeup. You know, the powder, powder puff face, and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like yesterday with their numbers. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> no moonlighting here. Anybody? You have any insight into that? Well, it derived from from people of today. I I believe that it it's just trends and um just history mm -hmm. where back in in slavery days where you know lighter skinned people were inside the homes of the slave masters versus the dark side. The dark skinned people were left out in the fields. So yeah. I think some of that has passed down for generations through our history. Yeah, some people believe that's where the whole obsession came from, but I, I read somewhere where the the skin 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 lightening or the efforts to appear to have a paler complexion was from Queen Elizabeth. Not the second, but the first. Queen Elizabeth from the Elizabeth, Elizabethan age. And it goes back to what you're saying about you know, slave working in Philo and all, because I think at that point it was a reflection, having a paler complexion was a reflection of prosperity and, and, and health. And health also. Yeah, they yeah, that, yeah. Um, the, the dirtier per, the darker you are, the dirtier you are, the, yeah. the wider you are, the more pure and everything like dr as driven snow. So yeah, speak. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's this is not a new phenomenon. It's been going on for, for, for quite some time. Uh, and that's as it pertains to European or Western cultures. What about elsewhere on the globe? How about India or Asia? You know, they, they, there is also a fascination with skin whitening and skin bleaching in that part of the world as well. Yeah, it is huge in India. Mm -hmm. It is huge in Asia, the Caribbean, um, yeah. obviously, even in Africa. Mm -hmm. Some 8 out of 10 women, according to a, a study I, I um saw is eight out of ten women lighten their skins in uh skin in Nigeria. So eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. And looking about this, I, I saw where if you even want to put that to a percentage, it said uh seventy percent of women in um in Nigeria. That's just one country. There are many countries in Africa that do, um employ the same practice. Right. And in India, Malaysia, Southeast Asia. As a matter of fact uh, that's the, the fastest growing, the yes. largest and fastest yes. growing? Actually, yeah, the largest and fastest growing um, area is the Asia Pacific. Yeah. And um, should I hit on any, they, they said that it would probably triple by 2024. 20, 20, triple, what, what, is, what does that mean, like how many? To about three, about 31.2 billion dollars. Billion. Yeah. Would that be? Would that be? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. So that's a lot of people. I didn't think we had that many people in the country, in the world. <laughs> You're talking about money. <laughs> no, I know. I know. I know. Billion. That's a lot. Yeah. So 
Right. You might ask what what these other countries have to do with the Caribbean. I mean, yeah. take Jamaica for example. We're made up of people from India, China, Europe, yeah. Africa. Yeah. You you name it. So it's um <clears throat> it's just interesting that even people of fairer complexion want even lighter skin a lighter skin color, which is very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It it is it, it it's it's something that you see in any part of the Caribbean, because again, we're the Caribbean edge, right? So whether it's English speaking, Spanish speaking, French speaking, you see elements of this kind of mindset in any, any, any country that you go into. To varying degrees, but you see it, wherever. But the point really is about, it begs the question, why? Why the need? Why do we see the need to want to reach for a fairer complexion? I think, I think overall is acceptance. Many many different assets of many different assets. Yeah. Acceptance, acceptance by society. I think women feel like men prefer women with lighter skin tones. Um, there are a lot of women that do bleach that say once they have that lighter skin tone, men pay them more attention. They come flocking. Yes. Yeah. And there are men that when you talk to men about why they bleach, they say that they get poorly for girls, they get enough girls, they get yeah. more girls. Um, but going back to something Don mentioned earlier about um, you know the slavery and the lighter skin if you will, house slaves. Yeah. Um, you know, they would be in the home while the darker skin outside, when you bring that to present day, you know, there's stats out there that show that people of fairer complexion um, are more likely to get the job. There's a study they even did in North Carolina where 12% of, <clears throat> and these are just female prisoners, um, you know, the lighter skin complexion female prisoners. Yeah. Um, by 12% received a lesser sentence than the darker skin um, female. So it's not getting into a systemic issue. This Absolutely. is not just personal. Mm -hmm. This is not systemic. Yeah. Right. Wow. Okay. So, okay. I mean, before we jump off um, of acceptance, one of the things that uh, I wanted to um, to expound on is it's not just by the opposite sex or within relationships. It's in the workplace. Mm -hmm. and it's prevalent in the workplace. Um, it's prevalent with peers. Yeah. And some people even beat themselves up. Yeah. For not being like. It's that self-esteem issue, yes. right? Yes. Oh yeah. God, yeah. Yeah. You know, not being. Yeah. So, I think if we could get to the root of that, it's it's funny how, how, from the Eurocentric um, era when it was uh, believed that it would. It was uh, lighter skin, was mm -hmm. better, like we said before, better health and a and, uh, uh, more prosperous person would be the lighter person. How it's influencing just about everything, even now. Yeah. From then, and we still don't know, but it's in the back of our minds, you know? Yeah. Uh, you're lighter, you're gonna move up. Hey, you got the job because he was lighter skin, or he was, you know? Mm -hmm. What we used to, what we, what we basically hear out there is, you know, yeah, the white guy is gonna get it. Mm -hmm. But guess what? It's almost like you're looking at a scale. Yeah. And well, this guy is like, well, well, well let's get a black guy. Let's not, let's not get that not really black. black. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, yeah. And <laughs> get too black. Guy. Yeah, you yeah. know, because there's a connotation with a darker of the skin, mm -hmm. so people are, I guess, have that focus. You know, I've I've seen quite a few uh, videos. <laughs> you know, and. And these are some of the things that I hear, you know, when I'm going to dance or, you know, I did, I'm just saying from Jamaica because yeah. I am a Jamaica and yeah. this is just my view that I'm getting from what I see from most of me. When I'm going to the dance, you know, nobody look at me, but as soon as I white myself and I come mm. out to the dance, everybody look at me. Yeah. And it's not only the ladies saying, even the guys saying, I mean, look at Vibes Cartel. Yeah. Right? Look what he did. Original he looks, so. <laughs> And then it it, it, it it turned into a marketing thing yeah. to where now he's making money from He has his own line, right? Yes, he does. Oh. There, well, there's a lot of controversy around whether cake soap really lightens your skin or it doesn't. Yeah. So, so that's Might be like a placebo. Right. Yeah. Placebo, right. Yeah. Not to, no, absolutely. There are products on the market that, you know, gels and cream. Mm -hmm. And I, I think there are even things people take internally. Yeah. You know, um, these things are regulated mainly in the U.S. and they are even banned in some other countries. But unfortunately for our own Caribbean 
people, mm -hmm. there's not so much regu it's not so much regulated. Yeah. Um, you know, I've even seen on some of the videos where they're mixing a few of these ingredients together to yeah. have a more potent effect, which <laughs> is there's a term out there, um, vampire. They they're putting so much chemical in or on their skin. You mean they can't go out to the daylight? Cannot can't. go out to wow. the daylight. Okay. Well it's big money in it. Going back to your what was it? 30, 32 point 31.2 billion, billion by 2024. Billion, billion, yeah. Okay, that, that's incredible. You know, I, I find it, uh, this is why it's, it's such a, a big issue because anything that is a big thing in society, you know, it, art usually imitates life. And from how long ago was that song, Them Ablish, 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 Them yeah, so it's been around for a while, and they even carried it further back. Within 20th century, but carrying it further back, you had uh, HBCUs, historically black colleges and universities, that employed the paperback test. Yes. I think Spike Lee yes. had like, doing yes, the right thing, yeah, where they hold a, a paperback to your face, and say, are you dark and on the bag? If you're dark and on the bag, you, wouldn't allow, you weren't allowed to admit us. You know, if you had to be at the bag, uh, that complexion or lighter. And that is within the black community, you know? So this is not even coming from outside. It's within the black community, but there's, there's a, an etymology to hold that whole thing. It comes from somewhere else, right? But we'll get into that, but uh, Don, I think you want to say something. Yeah, I think a, a self-esteem is a very um, crucial reason why people bleach their skin. Yeah. Uh, it goes along with acceptance. Um, I've seen where it impacts even our youth. So I think parenting also is significant in, in how our younger generation is thinking about themselves oh, and their self-esteem. Yeah. I've seen children seven years old bleaching yes. their skin. And so and then there's you know there's students that go into schools that are predominantly white mm -hmm. and they don't get to date because Everyone's dating each other, fair skin or, or white complexion, but they feel left out. So they feel that insecurity, and now they start to lighten their skin so that they can fit in. Yeah. Do you guys remember that interview with Anderson Cooper where he was talking to the little black girl and he had different shades of oh, yes. cap on yeah, and yeah. He, she pointed out that the lighter skin, she preferred the lighter skin and when he asked her why she said she associated and she pointed at her own skin and said that this was nasty. Yes. Right. You know, so even though I think it's starting to change, which we'll talk more about, it's just I, I think the impact it's had on our society is so deeply ingrained, drink, ingrained yeah. that um you know to just have our innocent children think yeah. that the dark skin is ugly and they're not ugly. born like that they don't they're not no. born thinking no. yeah. we're not born thinking like that but it's these little nuances that come up in early childhood the early things that come up that influence our self-esteem and how we look at ourselves as opposed to the rest of society Wow. You know, and that got no that brings into the whole marketing influence on yes. that, right? Mm -hmm. So what we see on TV, and if I didn't bring it up, I know some people might be tired of hearing about it. If I didn't bring it up, I'd be uh, I, I, I'd be um, not doing my due <laughs> diligence, or you know, not doing my duty. Black Panther. So let's get into yeah. that, right? Ah! So this is <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Keep yeah. the intro. <laughs> That Sean is just yes, abusing him. <laughs> Everybody knows. Sorry. 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 Yeah, so anyway. So, the marketing said, right? So, Black Panther, it's worth mentioning why that is such a big deal. And initially, even myself, I was looking at it and I said, you know, okay, so we might be getting a bit carried away with this. It's a fictional thing. But it's, it's a big deal. Why? Because the same thing that you brought up about the child. And it, 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 to bring up also, that was a study that was done in the 60s too, and Anderson, he uh, readdressed it, right. you know, but to bring back about how kids see themselves, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, who they see on TV that represents them, what is, what, what they aspire to. Is somebody looking like them em uh, employing Empower. that yeah. kind of um, either job or social standing, yeah. however, however you look at it, they want to see themselves in that. That that is that is so correct. I mean, um, when you're growing up, you know, as a little kid, I mean, even as an adult, 
you're always looking on folk, on something to focus on and say, well, that's where I want to go. There's this proverbial carrot in front of you, not really the person, but you see a scenario as you get right. older. But when you're younger, you don't have that. What you're looking at is a person. And yeah. a person, you know, parents normally go to the kids and say, what do you want to be when you grow up? Where do you want to go? What do you, you know, and so forth. And the only thing they can say, I want to be like, if you ever hear the answer, it's all, I want to be like Mr. Brown. Or I want to be like daddy. I want to be like mommy. You know, yeah. and it's, they, they attach it to a person. So when you look at magazines, when you look at billboards, when you look at movies and mm -hmm. all these trailers and so forth, you know, the one thing that you always, the, the kids are doing is they're totally focused on who is a star. Yeah. Who's the yeah. person who is doing the thing? Because remember, kids also, when we go back to acceptance again, um, kids also want to be accepted in their in their peer group. Mm -hmm. yeah. so they want to be either the matriarch or the patriarch of the peer group, and they want to be the one who's calling the shots. Yeah. So the 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 part that really gets them is, oh, that's the, I want to be like that. So even if it's not um, directly who that person is, yeah. All they're seeing is that person's at the pinnacle of the friendship group. And they're the, the boss of the whole group. So if you put it as, hey, that's not my color. I want to be like that yeah. white guy. That's their I aspiration. Like that light skin that's guy their because they are the ones there. So when you have the Black Panther and he's the king. Yeah. And they look sends, at himself, It sends a like, message. Wow, it yeah. sends a message. So, We're going to get to the frog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something I was thinking about as you were talking is, you know what's sad? Um, which is why I, too, personally and passionately love the whole concept of the Black Panther um, is because, you know, in magazines, the people in the picture don't even look like the people in the picture. Yeah. Like they doctor yeah. those things. Photoshop. And, yeah. And, yeah. and it's so, it's not even a real, we have, we're, we're setting these, these standards for children to look up to and they're not even real. Yeah. Well, what's beautiful to me is lately I have seen where so many beautifully skin toned black women are present, whether they're coming out and speaking yeah, out, mm -hmm. they're on the runways, they're in magazines, they're finally being recognized, and young children, whether you're any color, any skin color whatsoever, you're able to see what the world represents. Yes, absolutely. And the Jamaica motto is out of many one people. <laughs> you can't go, and that's the world that I think we all want to see deep down inside. Yeah, 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 rightly so. It, it, so it, it has an impact. Yeah, I don't know, I can't speak for anyone else, but I have heard in families, and I've also heard utterances in it from people who are related to also talking about, as I was growing up, talking about skin color, skin, you know, your, your complexion, and how, well, don't go out the sun. It's still, look, we're getting dark. Mm -hmm. You know, go out to the sun. Look what I'm doing. Who was yeah. somewhere in the sun and getting, yeah. You know, and then it also comes back into looking for a spouse, right? Because yeah. we all know what was said or uh, what is in some in some uh, some families, but they still still said no yeah. about if you're a certain complexion, you want to get somebody who's a lighter complexion so you can lighten the gene pool. You know, it's that dirty little secret. But we're not here to be a comfortable, uh, a comfortable dialogue. This yeah, is exactly this what happens. This is, this is exactly what happened. And, and we want to get into this topic. We're diving in. All yeah. right? Because it's not something that we can just tiptoe around anymore. No. Do you think that that, that now that you hit on that point, do you think it's, it's something subconscious? Or do you think some people actually plan and strategically? Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Broad, Definitely. You know, to, to lighten the... the yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll tell I'll tell you where I I've seen it uh, as a as a cultural thing, you know, and not even hidden. India, you know, India has a caste system, and it's well documented. Where I think caste system started from the 15th century BC, and that caste system is related to different social standing and occupation and what have you. But there is correlation. Some people say, but there is causation also between. The, who is at the, the top, at the Brahmins, and who is at the bottom of the caste system. And you see the ones who are at the bottom tend to be darker skin, mm -hmm. the southern part of India. And then as you get to the Brahmin side, you see the colors getting lighter. 
and it's a big issue in in uh in, in India in Bollywood as they call it, yeah. right? You have a lot of actors and actresses coming out against this depiction of Daxi's diaspora, not being a real reflection of the country. Same thing in uh, other countries like Brazil. Advertising campaigns are not reflecting, and Brazil is a, is the largest black country outside of Africa. Yes. But if you think about a Brazilian or you see their marketing that takes place, it's always a fair skinned or European yes. ideal looking person that represents that. Wasn't. Okay, go ahead. No, I just wanted to mention that, um, you know, is, is probably looked down upon this whole, the whole bleaching thing. But it's no different than when Asian people used to put a board, you know, up against their body to have like a, a, a flat, yeah. flat face or there are other cultures who did different things to, to be, be, be socially accepted or mm -hmm. um, boost confidence or, or what have you. You know, well, Asian, I, the, 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 I, did the you hear about with the, with the feet? feet? That they yeah, they bind their, their, their feet. Right. It's interesting what about that, but yeah, go ahead. Right. So the, the whole the whole bleaching thing, you know, if we just just because of the dangers, so I don't judge it from a why are they doing that? I would never do it, and I would never do it mm -hmm. um, because growing up on the beach in Montego Bay, I actually put on suntan lotion because yeah. I had zero problem with my skin complexion as long as it glowed I was I yeah. was happy um, but I'm not judging it from that perspective it's just mainly the dangers the, the dangers of it you know um, and kind of going back to something you were saying earlier the education yeah. there are people who of equivalent education people perceive the fairer skin complexion to be more intelligent oh, yeah. to be um, better educated yeah. than the dark so how do we change this phenomenon? That's the question. Well, I know in some countries, um, these bleaching creams are absolutely banned. So I think that more thought and more investigations have to be done and more educating our society of the dangers of bleaching. Yeah. I mean, you're talking about things such as skin cancer. Mm -hmm. And I think if you feature more people that have gone through on a personal level, then they're able to see and relate to it. So I think education is key, is key for that. Um, and not treating it like it's that dirty little secret. Exactly. I'm, I'm glad that you brought up about the countries making efforts to restrict those kinds of dangerous products coming into the country and possibly causing damage to people and also you know, on top of restricting the products kind of tailoring the kind of advertising because they know how important that kind of, those kinds of portrayals are in terms of when the youth are coming up or even grown people like us how we view ourselves and it, it's some very interesting statistics that in 2014 the advertising standards council of india banned any kind of advertising that depicted darker people as being inferior so that's 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 incredible because you know embrace it and know that this is taking place whether overtly or covertly is taking place so we need to stop it right and then after that a year after that 2015 or 2016 the ivory coast in in africa banned any kind of skin whitening creams and ghana did the same thing in 2016 so efforts are being made we know about the dangers of these products and the effects as far as the body and the mind that these things are um, are having on our people. Right, but we also know even though they are banning these skin lightening creams, yeah. they're still being smuggled in. Oh yeah. It's it's banned in Africa as well and they're still smuggled in. And you can't in. quantify the black market. Right. Yeah. So it is important that, you know, as a society that we take charge and, and educate people, but people also have to make a personal choice right. in themselves, not because it's there do you have to take it. Right. I call it the light bulb sy syndrome. We, we could educate, we could talk, mm -hmm. but until that person's own light bulb goes off, mm -hmm. they realize that, you know what, um, this is bad for me, or I yeah. don't, I, I forget it even being bad for you. I would love for us as a society, as a Caribbean society, to get to the point where, no, no way, a bond is just it's okay. Just, it's you know, yeah, it's, it's okay. absolutely fine. I've heard a fellow Jamaican say to me that when a black skin, a dark skin person bathe, 
you know, there's more dirt in the shower oh, versus, oh. I swear, to, I swear to God, I swear, yeah. um, more, more so than a fair skinned person. Mm -hmm. And I've entered into arguments with no, that person who, if there's more dirt in yeah. the, in the shower, that's because that person had more dirt yeah. on them. You yeah. don't wash off your skin color. Yeah. It's just, but as, as silly as that sounds, it's people believe that. As silly as that sounds, and that goes back to what? Who spends the most money on cosmetic products? Ooh. Black people. Right? Whether that's African black or Indian black, we spend the most on uh, makeup or those or hygiene yeah, yeah. products. Why? Because this notion that darker skin means I have to pay more attention to my hygiene. Whether you are acknowledging that. Yes, I'm darker skin, so I must be dirty. Or you're saying somebody's looking at me, I'm darker skin, so they're thinking I'm dirty, so I'm going to compensate for that. Yeah. So it, 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 you know, how deep does the rabbit hole go? Right. You know, as far as how we look at ourselves. Right. You know, so it's the, it, the, there's effort still to be made, but it's good thing. It's a good thing that things are being made. You I'm know. Glad you brought up the makeup because for many many years, if you looked at even the shade, you guys don't wear makeup, but. Even like foundation. For so years you have been known to wear You would go seriously though, you would go from fair shade, fair shade to black. Yeah. And yeah, there was, yeah. There was no like in no in between. Yeah. Even as something as present day as emojis. Yeah. I can't find a bit emoji that look like me with my hair. I can I can get close enough nowadays yeah. to my skin color. If you notice they come up they have very That was kinda of cool when Apple came up with those emojis yeah. Like, yeah. of different colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I mean, fish. Yeah, now yeah. yeah. I'm addicted yeah. to the fish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Riri, Riri came up with a line, didn't she? Yeah. Rihanna yeah. Yeah. came up with a line that focuses on uh, on women of color. So, you know, there things are happening. Yes. Things are happening. Yeah. I'm not a woman, but I can imagine going into the store and trying to find something and there's nothing you know, nothing that would work for you. Well, I'm going to talk a little bit about me because I'm obviously mm -hmm. browning, light yeah. skin, fair. And I grew up with my Jamaican family, which yeah. is the darker side of my heritage. And fortunately, skin color was not an issue within my family. Not to say it's not, but we're here giving our opinions, all four of us, of what we've experienced and lived. Right. So I think there are families, and that's why I say it's about you as an individual, what you want for yourself. Because there are lighter skinned people or white people that are trying to get that brown complexion. Obviously, they can never go black, but they, they want to get that darker brown complexion. So white people are also trying to get dark. And darker skin tone people are trying to get lighter. Mm -hmm. So, you know, men are going to cheat on you, whether you're black, brown, or white. So yeah. for the mindset that you're going to capture a man or more men want you because you're light skin, at the end of the day, if he's going to cheat, it's going to cheat on you. But there are studies that have shown that within certain time frames, certain time periods in issue where the, the, the fairer skin do solicit more spouses. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it has shown that. Right, but it doesn't mean at the end of the day you're not who you are. Whether you change this, your the color of your skin, it, it doesn't impact the way, it may get that first glance if that's what someone's right. into. But it should not be the substance of who you are and the foundation of your relationship. Yeah. And I go out, I'm out there, and I, I would hate to think someone is just trying to pick up on me because I'm a brownie. No, it's not because that's because of your ear. My ear. Your ear. <laughs> <laughs> no ear. No ear. No ear. You know what? And, and I don't know if, um, if anyone's really have their finger on the pulse of this whole discussion, right? And the funny thing to me is how much we would put ourselves in harm's way mm -hmm. over something that's yeah. a mental cycle. Something, the, the Eurocentric, yeah, the, the Eurocentric beauty um, uh, form that they expect us to be by. Yeah. You know, it's still there. It's still there as long as we know it. And it is all mental. But because it is, isn't it funny, I don't mean to you, but isn't it funny how what you just said, how it is this Eurocentric view of what we perceive as beauty and mm -hmm. it, it, it really translates into the countries that are really the buyers of these products so is there some correlation between that and colonialism 
That is exactly right. what I wanted to get to, right? And um, we're weighing out our health mm -hmm. because, you know, with these skin whitening products, I mean, it can affect your internal organs, especially your kidney. I mean, and one of the largest organs that we do have, which is our skin. The yeah. skin thinning and the protection that we have against anything that will try to get into our body or affect our bodies is our skin. That's the first, that's the first layer. layer of protection. And we're compromising that by doing this. Yeah. Not to mention that it ages you and you get stretch marks from skin bleaching as well. And acne and, and gray spots and blotches and mm -hmm. uneven tones that stay with you permanently after. Right. Then they call that onychrosis where you use these products and then it gets dark out, right. yeah. like black patches. It's so, sorry, it's so crazy because all the same reasons all of you mentioned why, what happens when you bleach. Yeah. When you look at why people are bleaching, they'll tell you it's for all those same reasons. Yeah. They'll tell you to get rid of acne, to yeah. even out the skin, okay. not realizing that once that crap wears off yeah. you it this comes back worse. tenfold and permanent right but it, yeah. it, it's it's they will give you those reasons but i don't buy it mm -hmm. like you, you you have these manufacturers like uh oh whatever the manufacturers yeah, yeah, are that put out yeah, these yeah. these products and they'll claim it's because it's the even our skin tone it's get rid of pimple marks get rid of stretch marks but they're going to label the products like just throw the different names like skin bright mm -hmm. um whitener or something yeah. like that you know exactly what you're saying and yeah. you know the market that you're appealing to yeah. right so they're not they're not stupid they know exactly what they're doing so we we did a previous episode on here um you know we, i think we touched on it in another one of the episodes but it's that chemical right so mm -hmm. i guess it's what it goes back to is anything unnatural these chemicals that people are mixing up and hopefully we'll do a future episode on um drugs and the ones that are chemically enhanced but yeah. at the end of the day when you put something that burns your hair to the point where it straightens it how can that possibly be good for you to the point that you put something on your skin that changes that alters the color the tone of your skin how can that be good for you but that 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 speaks to how in how deep set that self-esteem issue is you're willing to put your life and your health in danger to get that ideal but this is all about yeah. chemicals right yeah it's all about chemicals and staying out of the sun and what you do on a personal level but there's another level to that yeah. so this is on this that was we all addressed on a personal level mm -hmm. now let's talk about societal or governmental oh, yeah. and there's a white thing that takes place there too you know, it's not as prevalent now, but it's taken place throughout history uh, in, in, in many countries. An effort, what I'm alluding to is an effort to whiten the population. Yeah. Right? And there's, a, there's many countries that have taken that stance that have incentivized white Europeans to come and um, migrate into the country to whiten their population. Some countries that stand out are, and I don't know if you guys know about these, but it might it might be striking to you. So you can go and research on your own. We don't have time to cover everyone, but some countries are, for one, you have uh, Jamaica. So let's speak yeah. to that, yeah, right? Yeah. So you have Jamaica, there's Brazil, right? Brazil, there's yeah. Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. there's, uh, there's Australia, and the list goes on over these countries that have instituted different efforts to bring in uh, white Europeans to change the profile of the country. So I have a personal um, opinion on that, yeah. um, except it's probably, I don't know what their reasons mm -hmm. for doing that is, but you my, my, my friends have heard me say that I can't wait till everybody's one color. <laughs> and I, and, I can, and my position on this is because so we can get away from feeling that some are superior and others are inferior. That because to me, if now it would be probably be boring. Yeah, I, I agree. But but the concept, it's it, think about the concept. Like so, because you slice any one of us open, and inside is the same organs, it's the same blood, it's the mm -hmm. same cells, it's the same everything. So how else because this is 2018 and there are people who still genuinely feel like and one skin color is better than the other so is that a, is that something that you would like to see where everyone is one skin color well i my friends have heard me say that mm -hmm. to kind of just put in perspective that 
just because my skin is different from yours mm -hmm. don't yeah. mean that I'm any better or any less than. You know, can I, can I hit on that point yeah. a little bit? Because I think just like everything else, there are cycles. Mm -hmm. And guess what? If we were all to meld into one color, I do believe that we would miss purity of certain colors, of just purity of color and origin and so forth. Because here's, here's my reason why. We, I don't know if most of the people who are viewing this are, are interested in, in history and just the nuances of how changes are and so forth. And you know, some people are saying, hey, we want to keep the white race. Hey, we want to keep the, you know, the, the black race. We want to do this. I actually enjoy being around people from other countries that bring pure um, uh, information about their culture. And also, when you're doing a painting, you don't just look gray. You yeah. like seeing the color. When you're making your meal, it's something that is inside of us and we don't know why. We like different textures. Yeah. We like different colors. We like different heights. We like different sizes. We, and even if it is, the one thing that I think we need to teach is, um, and it goes back to acceptance again, that everybody brings something different to the table and everything that we bring and to the table is, 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 because I think when we say, let's just all be one color, it hurts. It hurts me too. Because, you know, I get, when I'm walking on the road in Manhattan or any country I go to, the first thing they see is a black guy. Yes. And, and I believe it as that. So I'm not saying it, it, um, it is bad to have that thought because I think every thought has its value to it mm -hmm. and none more than the other. But we should always remember that, um, it, yes, it does make us a little bit more comfortable, but with comfort sometimes come, um, you know, everything it just be becomes random and, and it becomes boring. Well, an operative yeah. word that you said as like as far as the mixture of food and, and appreciating differences is you, you said like. Mm -hmm. So I, it's conceptually where I'm coming from where I, when I say something like I can't wait till we're all on color, everybody will have their individual cultures, absolutely. Yeah. Because if you live in New York and you're this way versus if you live in Paris, and this is what we do in Paris. But so, aesthetics. So, right, but, but so, and I don't mean it literally, I mean it conceptually because, okay. because it's about, if, if everybody liked and respected and appreciated the differences, Different. then I would never even right. Want to have, this, have this thought. The yes. reason I say it is because how is it that in present day, people really think that that, that white skin person over there is different oh, from me, oh, a black skin person. Because she is. Because they are. They're, they're, they're different, but what? they're not better. No, they're not. Nobody's, yeah, we are different, and that's a good thing. Well, meaning, better. when I said different, I mean... Better or lesser. Right. So, exactly. I, I, that's I, the problem. Yeah. Right. See, I, 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 would, right I would hate right. for us to be one color. I would truly hate that. I don't want these, I love when people say, oh, I, I don't see color, then you're black. Well, and I you think, must be blind. I, think, I, I don't think. want you to not see my color. When somebody calls me, it, it, okay, typical example. When something happens and you need to describe the person that was there, you have a group of people that will, in describing the person that was there, they hesitate to mention a race. I have no problem with saying that. Yes, it was a white guy that was, he was in here, white looking guy, and he was in, oh, I, I have no problem with that. Why? Because he's white, so what? Yes. If you're going to describe me, there's this black guy that just came in, you're going to have some black people. And it, it, it works in all different cultures. You have some black people, but some black was racist. No, I'm black. Yeah. I want you to say that I'm black. Do not remove me from where I am, from what I am. Right. That's not to say my, my family line doesn't have different, di different yeah. branches that branched off. Who, you know, there's, it's rare now that you find them that don't. But I want you to mention who I am. Doesn't have to be the focal point, but don't escape who I am. You know, when you say it is not a person, or I don't see color. It yeah. strikes me as a bit ignorant. You, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. why you take that word? I was going to just <laughs> use that word. <laughs> it, that is the whole thing. You know, when you have people who don't want to open a gate and just venture out and learn right. about these things, and they find, oh my God, this is great. I need to go out more and learn a lot more. Um, it's just the ignorance. And I think sometimes when we want for certain things to happen, it's like, oh my God, you know what? It's going to take 
me and the entire world to move this person to understand exactly well, what that must, means. Must and, and, and it's, yeah, there you, you go. Have to. There you go. And so, it, that, yeah, go I on. I think everyone on this panel is comfortable in their skin. Um, I think as a society, to what Shauna was saying, it's like when we don't have to pick yeah. on a piece of paper what we are, whether we're black, white, other, or, or whatever labels um, mm -hmm. people have thrown at us will help us as a society mm -hmm. where one color doesn't feel in fear to the mm -hmm. other. It's several different things from, from parenting your children in their home so that they are proud of who they are and who they represent mm -hmm. makes a difference no matter what is marketed out there. But then we all think differently too. So no matter what I tell my child, you know, it's still, there's influences out there. So part yeah. of it is the parent. Your influence aspect. varies with the, with the age right. of the child. Right, and there's the marketing aspect of it. So we need to see more people, whether they're, you know, darker scone, tone skin, black, brown, whatever. We need to see those in our marketing. Just us doing the yeah. Caribbean edge makes a difference where our youth and our our, our Caribbean people and, and expanded outside the Caribbean uh, arena as well. See mm -hmm. us and our views on, on these very important topics that impact us living here in the U.S. And we can't be, we can't shy away from these things. You still have, um, you still have different societies or different professions or different mm -hmm. um, governmental institutions that still sanction these kinds of thought processes. Yeah. You know, you have the Ayurvedic um, Medical Society in India that's still telling pregnant women that they have to drink saffron-laced milk, they have to um, eat orange peels and things, yeah. uh, things like that. Yeah, so yeah, their yeah. so their child, that's their, their coming child, was have like yeah, a skin. skin. You know, and yeah. that is, this is not personal, Jamaica, this is systemic. <laughs> really? No, we really say it like a joke, right? But how many times have you been in a situation where this topic comes up and you people shy away from it? Oh, I don't want to talk about that. No, we don't talk what? about it. But you know, we yeah, to. we're talking about it, and then and then here we come segregating ourselves according to our opinions again. But it's funny, right? Our topic today yeah. is on skin whitening and bleaching your skin, and most people might think that we are moving away from the topic. But what we have just found out is that rather than it being a physical thing, trust me, mm -hmm. the physical thing is just the, the, it equals this. Yeah. But what we have really found out is that it's mental. This it's entire thing is a psychological thing. Yeah. Um, and what we need to do is just accept everybody. I mean, once you see, just do not, please do not. We, we have to try not to perpetuate this. Mm -hmm. All right. When two kids come home, that is a chance you have. To say, hey, Johnny and, and Michael or Bob and this one or, or Anna and Sue, you know, you guys have fun. And yeah. every time when something comes up, do not allow that. I mean, kids, even at, uh, even in, um, as young as they, like when they start to notice, yeah, when they start to notice difference in physical yeah. features, also start to notice difference in color of eyes and different in color of skin. Do not allow yourself to influence them into thinking that this is bad or good. Yeah. Always but see it, it. But see it and appreciate it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And that's the best that we can do. And as you know, here at the Caribbean Edge, we always try to influence the positive part and leave it with something good at the end of this. And what we've learned is this skin whitening and this yeah. skin lightening and so forth is majority, is mental. It is, it is, it is, um, you know, and, and it goes over into it, over goes over into a social thing, and then after social, then it becomes an economical thing, and then it becomes a mm -hmm. health thing now, and then you know it, it separates us on so many different levels. Where it just where it where it doesn't have to, it doesn't have it doesn't have to separate us. We just have to address it. I'm glad we we went into this. Yeah. I'm glad this. You know, we we thought twice about whether we should address yeah. this subject, yeah. but I'm glad we did. And don't be surprised if we have a second episode because there's a ton of things. And I know the comments are gonna come. Yeah. You didn't address this. Them. What about this? You know, you heart too much on this. But you know, let the comment, let us hear because we are going to address it again. We might delve deeper. We might find some kind of topics that are that that are lying tangent with this. And may I may I may I say if no. Okay. No, right? <laughs> see, and this is where it's that. You know, just start breaking it up. May I say this? If you want to be quoted on something that you want, and you want to send an article that 
would you guys mind if we notice someone who sent in an article? Yeah, on, on no, our we're gonna know. We are. Yeah, we're so we know that. that you sent in an article on something that we've discussed, and when we decide to to get back into it, we will try to quote. Yeah. You know, the, the people who send in uh, information oh, or, 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 um, or when you, you've done your research, little research that you've done on it and articles that are that you can be quoted on. Each one, teach one. Okay. Let, let us know. Yes. But we have one question, one question that we have to address. It's the elephant in the room. We have to address it. Okay, of all of us sitting here and everybody's watching, I'm going to ask a question and we really want to know. Did Michael Jackson try to turn away? <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't want to know. I have no, 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 I don't know, man. Michael, come to us. Con- yeah, hey, careful. Know. Don't say nothing about MJ. Yeah. <laughs> maybe he did. Maybe he did. Didn't. But yeah. what it comes back to? Psychological. Well, yes. And I don't know if he, he did or not. Go. I think it's a personal choice mm-hmm. if he did and whatever reasons he had to make himself think he needed to do it, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I, I do know that wow. there, there are parents out there that have twins, yeah. and one is black and one is white. Mm-hmm. And what issues are those parents facing as they raise their children mm-hmm. also is something that we, we can address as well when, when we review this topic again. Yeah. All right. So I'm a very logical person, and... Um, I love Michael Jackson, but the fact that he did straighten his nose and the fact that makes he you did, think where he was right, going. Right, and the fact that he did straighten his his, his hair would yeah. be in line with wanting to. He was not satisfied with those things, and therefore yeah. wanted. So, so if I had to put a bet, no, he was a good looking dude. No, he really was. I thought yeah. he looked better before he did all that yeah. crap. But yeah, but there's a lot of celebrities. But that's, that's, that's I like that. Yeah. 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 You, you, you don't call out the celebrities? No, but there are a lot of celebrities that do it. You know you want to say it. You know you want to say it. Sammy Sosa. Yeah, or you did, you did it? You, you said it? Yeah, we said it. But yeah. they yeah. have... Sammy did it, man. He did the hair. He did the Bruh. skin. What happened? He did the eyes. <laughs> but whether he you're a celebrity anything. or a non-celebrity, you are human. Yeah. And it boils down to choice, education. Yeah. As far as educating yourself on the dangers of it, you, you said, "Well, this is." I don't know if we can put this Stay dates right, but I have to. I have to address Stay it because we've said this. We've said this before about education. Takes it. Is it really educated? Because I know a lot of very educated people that have that mindset. Not educated yeah. as in you're an educated person, meaning educating the, us as a dangers. society yeah. of the dangers yeah. mm-hmm. and truly understanding what you're doing to your body, the the families you will leave behind because you've made those choices to have, you know, skin cancer. Who chooses to go out there and have skin cancer? But people are choosing to do that. But that's that's one of the effects if you continue to use it long term. And we can't even say it's an addiction like smoking or yeah. even, you know, those addictive things it's that we yeah, seriously. But guys, bleaching your skin, yeah. creaming your hair. For- for me, the addressing the whole skin bleaching thing is it would be it would be sad a sad day for me if skin bleaching or skin whitening stopped taking place solely because of the health issues associated with it. Mm-hmm. I I would not want I would not want it to stop solely because of the health issues. I think what's more important is the psychological reason behind it. I agree. I agree. You know, I think that if I had to put it on a scale. The that psychological would issues be will be number yeah. one, mm-hmm. and then secondary is, yeah. and you know it's gonna hurt you. Yeah. It's gonna you know. kill you. Yeah. 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 But I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad we covered it, and um, I, we have a lot more to say, but we'll leave that for another time. Um, thank you again for joining us on the Caribbean, Caribbean Edge. Edge. Remember to like this video, share it, subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So, uh, Bye guys. Thank you. All right. Wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs> Spike. Wrap it up. Yeah, but it's okay. You have yeah. stuff to edit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a lot of stuff. Why two bush want to tell the girl them All the girl them a rock when she have bleach. Cause them want brown skin. All the girl them. And them a bleach, them a bleach out them skin, them a bleach. Fe look like a browning, them a bleach.
Them a bleach out them skin, them a bleach. They look like a.